it up for Fabio one last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I have the honor to be the last one. <laughs> Well, you're here um, to give you a presentation. Yeah, uh, my name is Fabio Thiemsen and I'm the responsible guy for food tech and food innovation at Metro Group. So, Metro Group, um, for those who don't or who are not familiar with Metro Group, we are a big retail company based in Germany and we have uh, three sales lines. One is uh, focusing on consumer electronics and two are focusing on food. One is a wholesale company, Metro Cash and Carry, Macro, as it here is here in in Netherlands and uh, Real in Germany, which is a hypermarket concept. Uh, well, we are operating worldwide in, 200, uh, in uh, um, uh, 29 countries and uh, with over 200,000 employees. So this is basically just uh, at a glance. And um, the question is, uh, of course, yeah, we are a member of the AVF, but uh, why are we a member of the AVF? And this is quite simple. Because um, as uh, we, have uh, 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 we have heard the whole day, um, there are big issues, there are big mega trends, and of course we see them as well, because we have the, the ear in the market, because we are listening to our customers. And um, I mean, these were the mega trends which I showed you, but um, I think the customer is already aware of them. And the customer um, started to think about the system. We are now talking about the prosumer. That means uh, the combination of consumer and producer who is able to adapt a certain kind of technologies and who is looking into um, the marketing and, to the, and, and also in the kind of uh, how food is produced. Yeah. So, and as you can see here, these are millennials, uh, uh, how they are called, um, which are really um, looking into the food system and how we can change the food system. And so food becomes lifestyle. Food is not only um, 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 health driven or uh, has on not only the value of uh, how do I, or has a certain kind of value in terms of health, in terms of ethical, for example, the whole vegan area, but also um, it becomes a more collaborative thing. So that means, that of course, we as a retailer have to listen to our customers and we have to create with them the future, not only of retail, but about the whole food system. Because retail business isn't category driven anymore. The times where we really had a certain kind of assortment and we pushed it into the market, they are over. Because the point of sale becomes now, now the point of experience. Here you have some examples um, uh, which are uh, I think drivers in the in the in the retail business of tomorrow, um, when I talk about the click and mortar business, besides the whole digital area like food e-commerce and stuff like that, um, this is, for example, the vintage food style, the event and crowd gastronomy style, and of course, as I said before, the food lifestyle uh, um, part. That means that the consumer, they really want to live food. They want to really get in touch with food. They want to taste it. They want to feel it. And when they go in the retail, uh, in the store, they really want to um, see where the food uh, coming from. And, um, and of course, the, 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 that means that the traceability and transparency topic becomes more and more uh, important. And this is, of course, also very important for our main target group, which are chefs, which are professional customers, because Metro Cash and Carry, our biggest sales line, is a sales line which is focusing on hotels, restaurants, and catering companies. And this um, trends and, uh, and, 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 and developments in the market led us to the, to the, to the uh, idea of urban farming, because in urban farming, we really bring food where the people are. We bring food in the cities, we bring people, uh, food to our customers and we see also that the customers are looking into these kind of solutions because they want to um, bring the freshest uh, products to their customers when we're talking all about the professional customer. What, but how can we leverage as a, as a food company which has a brick and mortar business um, this, this idea of urban farming um, to our customer and there the idea of the Kräutergarten uh, um, becomes uh, or was was born, and uh, I show you shortly a, a, a case video. It's not so long because I know, as I'm the last speaker now, <laughs> I'm between you and your the first beer. So um <laughs> we start with the with the video now, and then yeah.
This was our little Kräuter garden in Berlin Friedrichsheim and as we call it an in-store farming solution. We did it together with the startup InFarm. They are also based in, in, in Berlin um, because we think we're, when you work with such a small speedboat, it's uh, quite easy to, to, to uh, bring such a solution in, in the store. And uh, believe me, there were really a lot of walls which I have to break uh, internally to, uh, to say to our category manager, I will want to build a farm in your department. And uh, they said, okay, <laughs> yeah, crazy idea. But uh, after six months, uh, the, the idea was born and we had the solution in our store. And um, I will give you now some, some um, pictures and some ideas what, what the, the idea was about and what are, of course, the advantages for our customers. Because as you can see here, the, the whole farm is really an integrated part of this department and it, has really, it, it can really transport the whole taste and the whole uh, feeling of, of growing the, the, uh, the product in a store to the whole assortment. When we once opened the door of this small farm, the whole area of our fruit and veg department smells like fresh basil and this is really something which is absolutely awesome. And, uh, um, so, um, here you can see some detailed pictures on it, um, uh, for example, the products, bonsai basil. Uh, we are now starting to grow uh, certain kinds of microgreens in the store because we are listening to our customers. And of course, we want to optimize uh, the, 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 the assortment um, day by day or uh, based on the, on the growing cycles to really get them the newest products in the store. Um, I know this is uh, uh, not uh, uh, such a big solution, but we use it as a pilot and the impact to the, to, as I said, to the whole store and also to our customers was really amazing. So here we have uh, the, the process from ready to harvest to ready to sell. Um, as you can see, the, the whole packaging process, the packaging is something uh, which us as a retailer is the most difficult one to really bring also the whole packaging process in, in, into the store. So there we had uh, to optimize also something, but this is for future in-store farming solutions really um, uh, something we have learned and which, uh, what we will improve. So here, um, yeah, and of course the whole monitoring part, and here are the products. Products. So and the media and customer feedback was also amazing. This video here on on Facebook, we had over six million views uh, just for this case video. We had a lot of comments. We had a big media echo. But the most important thing, as I said before, was the customer feedback. We had really a lot of leaf tastings, a lot of discussions with them because for them it was also not only an education. It was also uh, to see, okay, what is capable. What is the new trend? What are innovations in the market? And maybe they have the idea to uh, run such a farm by their own at, at, at their restaurant. And then we, for example, in the future can be their enabler. We can, we can, we can help them to, to, to set up such a solution. So these are the ideas around the whole, uh, whole uh, idea. So um, the advantages uh, to, due to in-store farming, as I said, is of course traceability for our customers. It's a uniqueness uh, when the customer can say, okay, as uh, for example, wasabi crest, this is something wh where the customer come to, uh, went to the store and asked, uh, do we have wasabi crest? Can you grow it? And yes, we can, and we, we, we are now doing it. And of course, the quality is also a very, very big thing. Um, then when we talk about foodies, this is a new target group because, as I said, food becomes lifestyle. So that means the end consumer is trying to get in our stores to get really the best kind of products. And they are looking for the experience. For them, as I said, the point of sale becomes a point of experience. When they see such an installation in the store, they are really amazed about it. They want to know more about it. And so we have uh, an explanation video on the, on the farm as well. And uh, we, we think to expand this one. Um, of course, the transparency and, and the discovery topic is also a very important one, which, uh, uh, yeah, uh, where the cu customer comes more and more in the store because you want to see how the whole process or the, the, the whole farm develops. And of course, for us as Metro, we had uh, not only learnings. For us, it was a big uh, advantage in, in terms of the learning because I was with so many groups in international in our store in Berlin with uh, my colleagues from China, from Japan, from Croatia, France, all over the world, I showed them the farm and I showed them what vertical farming is about so uh, that they can think, okay, the, that vertical farming could be, uh, of course, a solution for future stores in, 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 in Beijing or in Shanghai or wherever. 
And um, of course, the customer-centric approach is also uh, something really interesting because we have now a basis where we can talk with our customers what kind of products they need and what kind of products they want. And uh, the category lighthouse function is also something where we can really show the competence that we are looking into how food is produced and, and what is important for, for, for the whole growing pos process. Of course, um, we, we believe that in the future, for example, there can be a, some kind of collaborative approach that we um, create growing recipes with our customer together because we have also star uh, chefs um, as, a, as a in our target group and if they are interested in some kind of special mint or s uh, stuff like that we can create it with them and this is something which is absolutely um, awesome and um, therefore I need your help of course. <laughs> so yeah this is the uh, ca ca category lighthouse function. Yeah, and um, this is our future vision. As I said, we want to mm, make this in-store farming solutions bigger. We we are looking um, to expand this idea, and um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much.